Hey everyone, I'm Tammy Renee, and you're watching Amazing Chaffles. Right now you're probably saying to yourself, what on earth is a chaffle? A chaffle is a keto waffle. Low carbs, no sugar, and keto friendly. Sometimes used as bread, buns, and savory dishes. Scrumptious ones too, they're my favorite. The challenge is to create 52 chaffle recipes in 52 weeks. I'm going to share them with you every Saturday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Time and show you how chaffles can change your life. Let's get started. So with the holidays coming and the smell of pumpkin spice in the air, I thought it would be a great idea to make a pumpkin cheesecake chaffle. I use this mini dash waffle iron. I got mine at Bed Bath Beyond for $9.99. You can get them anywhere, Walmart, Target. I like this one. You just plug it in, and when the light goes off, it's ready to go. So we'll just plug it in and get it ready. So you mix all of your ingredients. This one is a half a cup of mozzarella cheese, two tablespoons of softened cream cheese, Two tablespoons of heavy cream and I'm gonna have the recipe in the notes of the video. A tablespoon of your sweetener which I use uh, Lakanto monk fruit or swerve sweetener. You can use that. And this one is uh, one and a half tablespoons of pumpkin puree. You want to use a hundred percent pumpkin because if you use pumpkin pie filling it's got all that sugar in it. This is a tablespoon of almond flour you have a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and baking powder. And then you have one egg. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I spilled a little extra in there, it's okay. So, I like to mix this up with a mixer. Some people use a fork. And we just get it all mixed up in there. Just with a hand mixer. You can use one of those mashers if you have one of those. I like it really smooth. And that's all there is to that. When our waffle iron is hot and that blue light goes off, we're gonna spray it just a little bit. I like to spray it so that it doesn't stick. I tried to do it once without spraying it, and it was a mess. When we're ready, we're gonna spray our iron because we don't want it to stick with all that cheese. So, we're gonna put it in here. Just a couple spoons. And then we're gonna close our iron. Nice. Three to five minutes or until that blue light goes out. Sometimes if you want it a little crispier, it's okay to leave it in longer. Um, for those of you who didn't know, uh, I'm also a gospel singer. So while we're waiting for our chaffle to cook, I'd like to share with you just a snippet of one of my new songs called No One Will Ever Love Me. And it's uh, on my album called Set. I hope you enjoy it. Growing up, I remember your amazing grace. So we're back. I hope you liked the song, but back to the cooking. Our chaffle is done. 
Be very careful when you take these out. They are very, very hot. So there's our chocolate. I'm going to leave it there to crisp up a little bit. And while that's crisping up, we're going to make another one. Don't forget to spray in between. I use a lot just because I don't want to mess. Okay. And this will probably make three or four chocolates. So we're going to put our batter in there. It doesn't have to be full because it will overflow off the edges. So we're going to do that. We're going to close this one down. And while that one's cooking, we're going to make our filling. Yes, our cream cheese filling is our powdered sweetener, which is, I use Swerve powdered sweetener, two tablespoons of cream cheese, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to mix that up with our blender. for this chocolate to cook, we're going to go ahead and make our whipped cream. We have heavy cream, and I don't really measure this. I know that it's just me eating these, so I'm not going to need that much. Probably a quarter cup of heavy cream. And then I'll go ahead and use um, a spoon of the monk fruit, Lacanto monk fruit sweetener. Probably a teaspoon. And then just a dash of uh, vanilla. I like vanilla. And I don't measure, just a little bit. Just a drop. And then we'll go ahead and mix this up. And when you're mixing heavy cream, you don't want to over mix it. You don't want to mix it past the soft peaks. So this will just, we'll just continuously mix this until it's thick. And it shouldn't take very long at all. I can't wait until Thanksgiving. I love pumpkin, pumpkin pie. My daughter makes an absolutely delicious pumpkin roll. And uh, that's fantastic. Okay, so our whipped cream looks like it's about done. See, it's our really stiff peaks. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. It looks like our chocolate is done. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And again, be very careful when you're pulling these out. We're going to let that cool down for just a minute. And I'll be back to show you how to assemble them. Okay, so we're back and we're going to assemble our chaffle. This smells so delicious. So we have our cream cheese filling and we're just gonna take that and we're gonna spread it in between them like that. You can put a little more on top if you like. And then we have our whipped cream that we made. We'll just put a dollop of that right on the top. And I like a little bit of cinnamon on mine. So we'll just take a little bit of cinnamon. I put it in my hands because I don't want it to come out too fast on the thing. So we'll just, just a sprinkle of cinnamon and it is done. There you have it, pumpkin pie cheesecake chocolate.
think we should taste it now. What do you think? It's a pretty big bite. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This is so good. so good this is really delicious there you have it pumpkin cheesecake tacos for dessert for breakfast with coffee this is so good <laughs> I gotta keep retaking this mm. this is really good delicious i'm so glad y'all tuned in remember subscribe to my youtube channel so that you don't miss the next amazing chocolate